So in order to get the time lapse going, all I did was you have this clicker here that controls the camera. So every time you click, it takes a photo. Then what you do is you grab this cable here, you cut it, and then you'll have the wire stick out. And pretty much you get yourself one of these, a reed switch. That's what a reed switch apparently looks like. It just a little tiny thing of glass with metal inside, I guess. Then once again, what you want to do here is cut this and you expose the wires. And then you get yourself one of those reed switches. And for my particular setup, it happened to be the yellow and the red one. So now what we have is the reed switch wired going into the camera. Now anytime it gets close to a magnet, as you can see, it'll take a picture. So that's pretty much how this works. What I've done here is I got this smart alarm thing. I gutted it out, took everything out. And all I have is just the wire, the switch with tape, and then I'll put the cover on. There's with the cover. And then I'll put double-sided sticky tape here and then I'll stick that to the printer. So what I'm trying to do here is have this, when the magnet moves close, have it trigger the sensor, but not too in the way where it hits the uh, printer head. So maybe somewhere around here. Then let's double check. Kind of close. So we can move it back a little bit. Too far. Right there it works. It doesn't have to be touching, just as long as it triggers it. And then let's see here. there you go and now you pretty much set up your print set up your camera and you have to tell bamboo slicer to do a time lapse smooth here's what it looks like when it takes a picture it'll do the first layer move to the left take a picture and then continue printing and it'll do that for every layer